The BLAST project ran from 2009 to 2012 and focused on bringing land and sea together in the North Sea region. By harmonizing spatial data across traditional boundaries, BLAST helped to develop new solutions that can improve coastal planning. Planning on the coastline is difficult when land and sea data aren't integrated. BLAST created the planning tool COINS that can help coastal planners visualize how climate change can affect coastal areas. The COIN system contains data from several European countries and we are going to carry out uh, an analysis uh, for Denmark in, in this case. The system offers the ability to use a uh, web-based location database. So we uh, type Allborg in the search window and uh, the results centers our view in Allborg. As you can see, the system contains most common JS functionalities uh, such as pan and zoom, as well as measure tools, identify tools, and even uh, printing maps you have produced using the system. We will start our little demonstration of examining the urban development in uh, Allborg. The land use system is based on the uh, pan European Corin. Uh, data set, they are preloaded, and Corinne is a satellite based uh, land cover map um, available for most European countries and for uh, the years 1990, and 2000, and 2006. Let's just select Corinne 90 and 2006. And uh, based on this map, we can easily observe that there has been uh, rather significant urban development in Aalborg during that 16 years period. There are many models showing how sea level could rise in the coming decades. BLAST made it possible to visualize the effects of different levels of sea change. We can expect in a worst case scenario that the sea level will, will be about uh, 50 centimeters higher in 2050 and uh, about 100 centimeter higher in year 2100. Now let's add the effect of a 100 year storm. Uh, the magnitude of such one is suggested to be uh, in total 250 centimeter. It can be seen that a very large part of Aalborg will be flooded in case of a 100 year storm. And uh, we also able to analyze the actual water depth in the city as a re result of such a storm combined with the sea level rise of a worst case scenario. Predicted water depths are important for planning infrastructure along the shore. It's also important to know how flooding can affect the people living in at-risk areas. This worst case scenario will impact between uh, three and 4,000 people. Um, and uh, if we extend the flooding towards the 100-year storm, it can be seen that the impact increases considerably. More than 10,000 people will be uh, affected of the flooding uh, in terms of a 100-year storm combined with uh, the sea level rise for the worst case scenario. We can see that at the 100 centimeter sea level rise, Aalborg is in line with the rest of the country in relation to the impact. However, with the combined effect of sea level rise and the 100-year uh, uh, storm uh, event, the impact in Aalborg will be amongst the absolute highest in Denmark, meaning that the Aalborg area would be a high-risk area in case of such a 100-year storm. If you're interested in downloading the tools developed by BLAST, they can be found at the project's website. <laughs>